Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session. We have is the 26th September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where are we heading? Where are we going, folks? Good question. Uh, European markets this morning certainly trading more or less lackluster, trading sideways, slight high, uptick higher given the fact that Asian markets higher overnight. Now, the Asian market rally overnight wasn't really due to risk on it, it was more to do with regards to the Chinese linking the index and uh, allowing uh, further exposure to one of its main indexes in terms of the mainland and therefore obviously that triggered the rally in the uh, obviously uh, Chinese markets which really was to a large extent fiscally or should we say intervened uh, from a government intervention rather opposed to obviously uh, organic growth which again is certainly is a cause for concern. Uh, US equities remained weak overnight. Nasdaq did obviously push off the lows. Okay, so quite a considerable bounce off the lows, but the S&P more or less finished finished weak yesterday, and therefore that weakness expected to go into the European session as well. Okay, now in terms of economic data this morning, we've had uh, French consumer confidence numbers coming in weaker than expected. Again, certainly uh, we see giving you a good a plight of the eurozone. Uh, in terms of FTSE, we still have uh, the ongoing concerns with regards to uh, pro Brexit, anti Brexit. Comments, okay, uh, Mr. Theresa May's uh, insistence of a no deal better than a bad deal, etc., etc., which in turn keeps the pressure on the um, on the actual uh, index itself as well. Also, in terms of uh, oil prices, certainly plateauing out uh, as well, looking for a potential reversal now in oil, so watch out there. Okay, with regards to Mr. Trump's swipe or gripe there with regards to uh, oil prices and also the ongoing concerns regarding Iran as well that are ratcheting up via the UN. Uh, Mr. Trump was laughed at yesterday. I think we all know he's a clown who only deserves to be laughed at, to be honest with you, with his uh, so-called anti-globalist agenda, really. It's, uh, it's a fanatical and uh, very uh, regressive uh, policy, really. It's uh, very short-sighted as well. Uh, and obviously it has repercussions, which he has no understanding of uh, trying to, or well, no way of attempting to comprehend, because unfortunately his IQ level isn't high enough. Now, in terms of the rest of the uh, indices, let's just see exactly the, te uh, the technical picture here now. Uh, in terms of European indices, so looking at the daily chart, German DAX still struggling at FIB 75%, looking to potentially reverse, so watch out there. 60 minute chart again, uh, we did hold that key resistance at 12,430. Uh, we've got a bearish engulfing candle at the moment, uh, again, we've bounced off this key diagonal trend line. Uh, the question really is it's about uh, whether or not we can hold this, uh, given the fact that we've got ongoing concerns regard to a Chinese trade war, okay, that certainly is playing in the background, watch out for this potential uh, bear flag scenario in Europe, especially with weaker data and the euro obviously at lofty heights as well. Now we've certainly closed the gap and held that gap at 12.330, if we do break that key support then the next potential level uh, is seen below, uh, you've got uh, 12.260 uh, and then obviously you've got 12.230 as well, so there's a lot of levels below, we do have one fill gap above uh, though as well, 12.430, so watch out between those two zones and if you are trading the German DAX. In terms of the French CAC, let's give you an insight here. Now French CAC still oscillating, still bouncing, holding support. So key resistance here on the French CAC around the uh, 5495, 5500. We've got an unfilled gap below that needs to be closed at uh, 5450. And daily charts certainly showing you key resistance here as well. Especially weaker consumer confidence as well, or French confidence certainly looking for a potential move low in the daily chart certainly is showing you that key resistance there as well. Uh, in terms of the FTSE 100, last but not least, looking for a potential bear flag scenario to play out here now. Okay, so certainly looking for this bear flag. Uh, you have key resistance holding here around the 7512. Okay, looking for that to play out. Looking for a flush down to 7490 and then potentially down to 7480 and then down to 7450 as well. So watch out below in terms of the FTSE. The 60 minute chart really is in no man's land. Uh, I mean, you've got potential resistance here, which obviously we're holding thus far. Okay. Certainly keep an eye out there. Around that 7515, uh, it will take quite a lot to break through that at present. I mean, we need some sort of catalyst, uh, given the fact that the Fed is hiking rates later on today as well. Hawkish stance there certainly is negative for commodities, negative for FTSE, and uh, also negative for US indices as well. Okay, so certainly take that into consideration. So next potential support below is 7450. Looking at the 10 minute chart again, again, like I said, it's a key resistance at 7512. Whether we can hold that or we break above it. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, in terms of European indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com, take advantage of that bonus, and make sure you visit Trade Signal, download that latest app, and uh, certainly wish you the best for trading the Fed decision later on. Goodbye now.